Hello students, you are welcome in MSc semester 3 in industrial chemistry department. In MSc semester 3, today we are going to discuss about your core paper number. I C three zero one C. Your paper title is Measurement and Process Control. paper you have mainly four units and this paper is of total 100 mark from that 70 mark is of your final exam and 30 marks for your internal exam internal assessment in this paper today we are going to discuss about your unit number three Final control element This unit name is final control element So students first of all we will discuss its a syllabus and then we will, we will discuss each and every point in detail. So in this unit number 3, final control element, the first point is of introduction. Introduction of control valves. The second point is elements of control valves means what are the parts of control valves we will discuss in this point and the third point is Detail account on sliding stem valve global and rotary stem valve special valves Special valve design valve plug design actuator sorry. Equators, valve positioners, and K 
characteristic and characteristic and sizing of control valves so this all are points of this unit final control element the first point is introduction of control control valves means how we can define control valves what is the definition of control valves then next point we will discuss is elements of control valves and our third point is detail account on different different terms here we are having sliding stem valves rotary rotary stem valves special valve designs valve plug design actuators valve positioners and characteristic and sizing of control valves so we will discuss all this in detail so we start with this introductory part introduction of control valve so we start with this introduction of control valves right so what is the use of this kind of valves what is the definition what kind of forces involved in this structure valve we will discuss all that first of all we will start with its definition control valve control valve is a valve with a pneumatic hydraulic electric or other externally powered or manual actuator or that automatically fully or partially opens or closes the valve to a position
dictated by signals transmitted from controlling instrument instruments so here we are having definition of control valve so here you can see control valve is a valve with a pneumatic hydraulic electric or other externally powered or manual actuator or that automatically fully or partially opens or closes the valve to a position detected by signal transmitted from controlling instruments so here you are having its definition control valve a valve is essentially a variable orifice valve is essentially a variable orifice orifice means a mouth an opening or you can say a vent anything a valve is essentially a variable orifice so this way we can define control valves control valve what is the use of this all control valves so here we can say that control valves are used are used primarily to throttle energy in a fluid system and not for shut off purposes so control valves are used primarily to throttle energy means for the flow of fluid fuel or power this kind of energy control valves are used primarily to throttle throttle means controlling the flow control valve are used primarily to control energy or we can say flow of fluid fuel or power in a fluid system and not for shut off purposes so this way uh, we can control or we can say throttle energy by control valves the valve components should be designed to 
withstand high fluid velocity and turbulence for long period without maintenance valve component should be designed to withstand high fluid velocity and turbulence for long periods without maintenance so this way we can say valve components should be designed in a precise way or precisely so they can work efficiently for whatever the requirement in an instrument there should be there should be no lost motion between equator to plug connection equator means a device that causes machine or other device to operate means equator means an operator there should be no lost motion between operator to plug collector connection or equator to plug connection hence the internal moving parts of a control valve generally must have a heavy guiding and be more precisely aligned so this way we can say that control valves are very important elements in any instrument right they should be designed in a precise way there are having many elements in this control valve and uh, the valve component should be designed uh, with high fluid velocity and turbulence with stand and uh, they can, we can use that valves without maintenance for long term we can say so this way we can 
say that the design of control valve should be uh, done very precisely and uh, that way it can work in a proper way so here we have discussed its definition its uh, importance or its use use of control valve control valve are used primarily to throttle energy in a fluid system and not for shut off purposes means control valves are used for controlling uh, fluid flow or power flow or we can say uh, for controlling flow of fuel fuel or power to an engine so this way we can say that this all are we can say control valves and this is the main use of control valve so this way we can say in short we can say that control valve uh, control valve is a valve to control fluid flow by varying the size of the flow passage as directed by a signal from a controller this enables the direct control of flow rate of pressure temperature and fluid level or we can say liquid level so this is how we can also define control valve in another way here we are having one more definition of control valve a valve simply we can define it a valve is a mechanical device if we just want to describe valve not control valve then we can define it like this a valve is a mechanical device that controls the flow of fluid and pressure within a system or process a valve control a valve controls c 
system or process fluid flow and pressure by performing any of the following functions so here we are having the functions of valve different different function of valve so we can uh, define more easily control valves the first function of valve is stopping and starting fluid flow this is its first function b varying or we can say throating throttling the amount of fluid flow controlling the direction of fluid flow controlling the direction of fluid flow regulating down stream system or process pressure e relieving component or piping over pressure so these all are main functions of valve a control a valve controls system or process fluid flow and pressure by performing any of the following functions number 1 stopping and starting fluid flow number 2 varying throttling the amount of fluid flow controlling the direction of fluid flow regulating downstream system or process pressure and number 5 is relieving components or piping over pressure so these all are the function main functions of valve and we can say that this is mainly uh, we this way we can describe control valves now we discuss about control valve in another way about actuator the actuator used in
the equator used in throttling service moves the valve stem either sliding or rotary to establish the desire port area through the valve the equator used in throttling service moves the valve stem either sliding or rotary to establish the desired port area through the valve so this is mainly the use of equator valve positioner is used to improve the operation also that also converts the controller output from electric to pneumatic or hydraulic this way does control valve body assembly control valve body assembly and the equator are to be considered separately means here we can say uh, there are mainly two parts of this uh, we can say control valve we can say that control valves mainly have two parts equator part and body part right because the equator used in throttling service moves the valve stem either sliding or rotatory to establish the desired port area through the valve valve positioner is used to improve the operation that also converts the controller output from electric to pneumatic or hydraulic this control valve body assembly and the equator are to be considered separately means we can say that control valve mainly have two parts
control valve mainly have two parts number 1 actuator part and number 2 body part the above part of control valve is called actuator part and the bottom part uh, the loading part of valve is called body part right so this way there are mainly two elements of any control valve actuator part and body part right or actuator or body valve actuator and valve body so this way we can say there are many parts of control valves right but mainly there are two parts actuator part and body part we will see whole a uh, diagram in detail but first of all we will see all the elements of valve elements of a uh, control valve the basic elements of the basic elements of a control valve r number 1 the valve body with stem or plug right number 2 is the actuator number 3 is valve positioner number 4 relay relays or packings number 5 bonnet number 6 trim the internal element so this way we can say that these all are uh, elements of control valve but there are many more elements are involved in uh, control valves or we can say we will we cannot describe it is it is easily we will see it with its figure so you can have more idea about this right so there are many elements of control valve stem plug the valve body actuator valve positioner relays or packings bonnet trim internal elements these all are elements of control valve and we have many more but we will discuss that all in detail with its figure in the next session 
today we have discussed many points we have started with its a syllabus discussion right then we have discussed about its definition definition of control valve and what is the use of control valve right we have discussed that all then we have discussed different different definitions of control valves we have two to three definitions here you can see that all we have discussed this all then we have discussed the function of a valve control system we have discussed all different different functions of control valve right how it can work then after that we have discussed about the about the control valve's main parts there are mainly two main parts of control valve actuator part and body part the part which is above or we can say um, if we can divide a uh, control valve in two part then the upper part is actuator part and the lower part is body part if there uh, there is any valve then the upper part is if we can divide a uh, control valve in uh, two parts then the upper part is actuator part and the below part is body part we will see it uh, with a proper uh, diagram proper figure in the next session today uh, we will discuss up to this only we are concluding our lecture here the elements of control valve we will discuss in the next session with its figure but main thing you can understand is the valve body which is on the lower part of valve the actuator the upper part of the valve valve positioners which show position to stem relays and pack or packings bonnet trim this all are uh, the elements of control valve we will discuss this all uh, in detail in the next session till then thank you all students stay connected thank you thank you all